What's up guys, Justin here with TheRenderingEssentials.com back with another Lumion tutorial for you. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about how to create an animation where time passes inside of our renderings. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so for this tutorial, we're gonna use one of the example models that comes with Lumion. In this case, I think I'm going to go with the, let's go with the Farnsworth house model. So, and we're gonna create a very simple animation inside of Lumion. So I don't want to make it super complicated. I basically want my camera to move forward and kind of pan up and look at the building. And I also, as we get closer to the building, I want the time of day and the clouds to move. And so what we're going to do is we're going to let this load inside of Lumion first. And then once we get to this point, because this is a really good model for this rendering. And so what we want to do is we want to go into movie mode and we'll just leave this all as is. I'm not going to make any changes to this right now. And what I want to do is I want to create a movie where our camera flies from back here up to the face of the building. And so you can see how there's a number of these already built in here, but what we want to do is we want to create a new movie. So we're just going to click over here on one of these blank clips and we're going to click on the button for record. And so when we record, what we want is we want our camera to start, we're just going to pick a spot. So maybe we'll pick this spot right here or maybe we'll fly by the tree. So maybe we'll start right here and we'll start kind of low with our camera facing the building. We'll go ahead and click the button for add camera keyframe. And then what we want to do is we want our camera to move forward. We're going to move our camera maybe up to about here. We're going to go ahead and we're going to add a second camera keyframe. And so what that's done is that means that now we have an animation that's going to transition from back here to right here. So we've set up our multiple different cameras. You can set the length of this clip by typing in a value over here. So in this case, I'm going to type in a value of 10 and hit the enter key. And so what this is going to do is this is going to move uh, slower towards this building. So we have our camera movement animated. I don't want to make this super complex. I just want this to move forward and look at the building. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do that. We're going to click on the button for save clip and go back to movie mode. All right. So now that we have our clip set up, you can see how if we click on play, this is going to animate our movement across the middle of the scene. What we want to do in this situation is we want to go ahead and we want to apply a style to this. So you can either click on the custom styles and add a realistic style like this. So you can see how that's really good. We also have a style in here, or I have a style that I've created um, based on some different settings that have some more realistic shadows in there. I will link to the video in the notes down below where we talk about those settings. But you can do this either way, but what we're going to do in this situation is now we want to create an animation where this moves across our scene. And then also where our clouds transition and it gets lighter or it gets darker as we move towards our scene. So the way that we want to do this, we need to start by adding a clouds effect. So this will not work with the real skies. So we need to go into the sky settings. You don't want real skies because those are HDRI images. What you want instead is you want the artificial sky and clouds. So you want to click on sky and clouds. You can see how you can use this to adjust those clouds in your, uh, in your rendering. And so what we want to do is we want to start and we'll go ahead and we'll create a keyframe. A keyframe is basically a point in time where a certain setting is applied. So right now, for example, if I click on the button for keyframe, that's going to add a little dot down here indicating that the clouds are going to be in this position at this time. So now if I was to move about halfway across this like this, we could add another keyframe. So if I click on the button for create keyframe again, you can see how this will then allow me to set another setting right here. So what that allows us to do is that allows us to start from right here and then notice as we move, the clouds are moving across the sky as well. So we've created a second keyframe telling it to transition between clouds being right here in this position and clouds being right here in this position. And notice that you can bounce back and forth between these keyframes just like this. And so in this situation, what I might want to do is I might want to have some more clouds in here. So I could set a keyframe where I have less low clouds at this point, 
And then I could create another keyframe over here where I have more clouds at this point. You can see how I can transition between the two of these really easily. And then if you ever want to remove a keyframe, you can just click on the little X right here. And so in addition to this, what I want this to do is I want this to transition from a time standpoint. So at the beginning of this rendering, I want this to be an outside view during the day. But at the end of this rendering, I want this to be a nighttime render that kind of shows off the lights in this um, in this uh, building. And I've added a few lights. So if I go into build mode real quick, you can see how I've added just some uh, some point lights or some spotlights in here. I haven't done a whole lot with them. This is really kind of a quick, this is really a quick, easy addition of lighting in here. I didn't spend a whole lot of time on it. I've also set those so that they turn off during the day, they turn on during the night. We've already got our transition for our clouds, but what we wanna do in this case is we want to add another effect. What we wanna do is we wanna add an effect where our sun gets lower. So because we're not using real skies, we're using the artificial sky and the clouds, we can set this so that the sun height changes. You can see how when the sun height changes, our image changes as well. So you can see how if we turn the sun height down, then all of a sudden the artificial lighting plays a much bigger part in this scene. And so what we wanna do is we wanna start off and we wanna create a keyframe with the sun up in the sky. So you can click on the button right here in order to do that. And then if you wanted to fine adjust this, you could add a keyframe right here. All I really wanna do is I wanna add a keyframe at the end of the video where my sun is much lower. We'll maybe set something like this. So we'll set our sun height a little bit lower and we've created a keyframe at the beginning and at the end and this animation is gonna transition between the two of them. And so one other thing that I want to do while I'm doing this is I want the stars to kind of shine through. So if you remember when we were dealing with our clouds, we set a keyframe at the beginning and at the middle where there's more clouds. Well, I'm going to set one more keyframe at the end where we have a lot less clouds. So you can see how I can drag this cloud amount way down so we can have those clouds kind of go away at nighttime. So now, this gives us a transition from, from the beginning here. And you can see how our clouds get thicker for a little while. And one thing you might wanna think about because the clouds stopped moving is you might wanna go ahead and adjust the position at the end as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna create another keyframe where my cloud position is a little bit over here because otherwise it looks kind of unnatural when my clouds stopped moving at this point. So now we've got a transition where our camera moves across our scene, our clouds are moving across our sky, and our sun is getting lower as the scene goes on. Now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and I want to render this. And obviously there's a little bit more work we could do with this scene to add different lighting. I didn't want to spend a whole bunch of time setting up a whole bunch of lights. So if I click on this to preview this in Lumion 10, you can see how it looks pretty good. So I think this has done a pretty good job of demonstrating what this can look like. So let's go ahead and render this. And so the first thing I want to point out is when you render this, you don't want to click on this button right here because it's going to render every one of these scenes. You can see how there's a lot of these scenes already in here you don't necessarily want any of those. And so now I think we're good to go. So what I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and I'm gonna click on the button for render clip. So when we click on the button for render clip, you can set your output quality. So I'm gonna leave this maybe on three and we'll go with 30, for, or I'm actually gonna go with 25 frames per second right now, just cause I don't want this to take a super long time to render. And we can go ahead and just remember that the Ultra HD, the Quad HD, the Full HD, those are all gonna take a while in order to render. So the bigger these images are, the longer this rendering is gonna take. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just do a full HD render and we'll just call this time change animation and hit save. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna go through and it's gonna render out each one of our frames. It'll also give you a little preview over here of how long that's going to take. So you can see how right now this is going through and this is rendering 250 frames and it's gonna stitch them together into one video. So we're gonna go ahead and let this work and then we'll come back here and take a look at our results. All right, so once this is done, we can go in, we can click on the button for open folder to view our video. Um, so if we click on open folder, that's gonna open up this video and we can watch our animation file. So you can see how it's an interesting animation where 
um, your shadows move as your camera moves and your clouds are moving in the sky as well. And there might be some things that I would change in here, but overall I like the transition effect and it's something that you can build on as you create your own animations inside of Lumion. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Have you created animations like this? What kind of animations for Lumion would you like to see on this channel? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new rendering content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.